to this video on ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. ATP is known as the universal energy currency for organisms. This is because all organisms from the simplest bacteria to humans use ATP as an immediate source of energy within their cells. It is a nucleotide derivative because it is a modified form of a nucleotide. It has three components, ribose sugar, which is a pentose sugar also found in RNA. And then you have three phosphate groups all joined together here. And then you have the organic base adenine, which is again found in DNA and RNA. The energy is stored in the bonds between these phosphate groups. A hydrolysis reaction can break one of these bonds. forming ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate, an inorganic phosphate, which comes off here, plus energy. This is catalyzed by an enzyme known as ATP hydrolase. ATP can then be resynthesized via a condensation reaction. The ADP reacts with the inorganic phosphate again, and energy is required to form ATP and a molecule of water. The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is known as ATP synthase. This usually happens within the mitochondria, for example, in aerobic respiration. There are many advantages of using ATP as a source of energy, as opposed to, say, glucose, which comes directly from the food. Firstly, only one enzyme is required to release energy from ATP. Whereas lots of enzymes are required for glucose. Secondly, it releases energy in small manageable quantities whereas glucose releases it in large unmanageable amounts thirdly it's an easily reversible reaction we can take this phosphate off and then add it back on fairly easily and lastly atp is soluble and easily transported across membranes There are five main functions of ATP. Firstly, it's used for metabolic processes. Energy is required to build macromolecules. Secondly, it's used for movement. For example, muscle contraction. Thirdly, it's used for active transport. Also, it's used for secretion. ATP is needed to form lysosomes. And lastly, it's used for phosphorylation. So this is basically where an inorganic phosphate that is released from this hydrolysis reaction can be added to other compounds to make them more reactive. Now you can pause the video and have a go at these questions. Question one. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. Draw the structure of ATP. Question three, where is ATP synthesized in the mitochondria? The hydrolysis of ATP is ATP plus water reacts to form ADP plus inorganic phosphate plus energy. What does ADP stand for? Adenosine diphosphate. What does PI stand for? Inorganic phosphate. Give two advantages of using ATP over glucose. So you could have had its reversible reaction 
It's soluble, so easily transported across membranes. Only one enzyme required to release that energy, and it's small, manageable amounts of energy. List the five main functions of ATP. So you have metabolic processes. We've got movement, active transport, secretion, and phosphorylation. Thank you for watching.